This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Amy Webster with me all the way from Perth. Thank you for joining us today. No problem. Thanks now, for having me. You and your husband own Wildwood Design and Build in Perth. Yeah. And you've got workshops for women to take this sort of thing. Yeah, they're going to learn how to build a, a step stool. Okay, and I've seen you've had them for uh, just a, a stool too, that sort of thing? Yes, we have a joinery stool workshop that's a little different for everyone, but this one is specifically for women to learn power tools. I was just going to say, it introduces them to, to this, because this could be a little intimidating. Yes. <laughs> so how do you go about that? Because that, there is some apprehension about, you know, starting one of these things up and powering yeah, them through some so wood. Yeah, so that's why I chose a small project that we're going <clears> to <throat> build this pine step stool. Um, and... The nice thing is, is that you can really have a lot of time to learn how to use the tools. So we start with just a little introduction to some of the saws and you do a lot of practice cuts, learn about where you're, where you want to look to keep on the line, how to mark and measure and just how the tools operate and how they work. Um, just the to, feeling. Yeah, just know? how to, how to do it and what all, what all the different features do and so that you can learn how to use it. And one of the, if you learn to do it safely and properly. Exactly. Yeah. This is a start. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's sort of where you came from. It, you started doing this, but my goodness, you do amazing, beautiful work. Because you do this on a little bit of a sideline. You have the business of, of uh, going places. I know there's a few places in Smith Falls here that you've restored. Yeah, so my husband and I have a woodworking company that we started about six years ago. So we do finished carpentry, architectural millwork. So that means, you know, frame and panel doors, entryways, windows. Um, specialty trim stuff like that and we learned to do it because we did the heritage carpentry program at Algonquin College in Perth so that's our fo our focus um, is more heritage carpentry. Let's talk about that course in itself because I, I've been up there and, and you know we've done a little bit of uh, some media work trying to promote some of the courses and it is beautiful some of the stuff that you, you do in that yeah. course. It's, it's really different, it's a unique <coughs> program, so it's not just carpentry, you know, there's nothing wrong with carpentry and building, but this is specifically um, heritage carpentry, so it's kind of what everything I just said, so it's learning how to do those traditional doors and windows with the molding and the joinery, uh, we do timber framing, uh, we do a lot of really cool programs like uh, geometry, layout, building science, just a little more unique. There's so much, um like when, you, when you're rebuilding things, there's got to be a surprise when you're taking the old stuff down. Have you ever had any of that happen uh, to you? Yeah, the demo part is always a little bit uh, of a question mark. Yeah. But usually you can, you can figure it out. And you must be very creative and, and uh, to be able to plan what's going to go in to replace that as well too. Because the trim, some trim is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I t there's actually um, uh, a mill worker in in Perth, his name is Doug Nixon, and he also he has all the old knives from the traditional profiles from all over Lanark. So, a lot of times, if there's an area that's damaged in the house that you want to redo the trim, or you made a new part of the house that you want to have matching trim, you can have it milled uh, to match. Wow. So, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff like that that you can do. That's keeping with the period of the home. Yeah, really, a lot of creative stuff going on. Mm -hmm. But the, the course here too, when did you start doing the, <coughs> excuse me, opening it up to, to women classes? Yeah, so, well, we bought <coughs> the building that our shop is in two years ago and we were all ready to launch the workshops and then of course the pandemic happened, uh -huh. so we had to put it on pause. And then in December, uh, I launched the Women's Power Tool Workshop. I didn't know what to expect. I just thought, we'll see what happens and I couldn't believe how many people signed up for it. You probably have a waiting list. <laughs> there, yeah, I'm booking into February and March now. Um, but you can go on my website and you can just book the day that works for you. It's like a calendar booking system. And I have dates up till March right now. And this week I'm going to go all the way to June. So you okay. can just pick a time that works for you and and come and do the course. Okay, so now th this one you brought this. I saw pictures of a stool too as well too. So is it different things? Like Yeah, so this is what we're building in the Women's Power Tool Workshop. It's mm -hmm. a pine step stool. Uh, the other uh, workshops that we do are, are for anyone. Um, and we do a traditional staked furniture stool. Um, that's more of a hand tools workshop. Oh, okay. It's really fun too. So anyone can take that and we also do like you know, we have rotating ones that come and go, like charcuterie board or different different classes. I, and yeah. I think once you get past the the initial apprehension or fear about you know starting up one of these saw tools, you're probably hooked. 
Yeah, uh, they, they, you know, we've run a few already, <clears throat> and the women, they're really scared at the beginning, some of them. It's intimidating, uh, but by the end, they're so happy, and they, they say, okay, I've got, you know, at least the basics that I'm not as scared. I can go home now and use the saw that I bought myself that's been sitting in the box. Um, they can try with a little more confidence and also just understanding the safety, uh, the safety, you know, Okay. Procedures. Now, do you typically get like a younger generation or, you know, a 60 year old? <laughs> it's been a mix. It's been a mix, honestly. <clears throat> I have a lot of, uh, you know, women my mom's age that are coming to do it, and it's, I think it's awesome. Excellent, excellent. Now, you're a, a volunteer firefighter in Perth as well. Yes. How long have you been doing that? Uh, five years. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Excellent, yeah, excellent. And what got you interested in doing that? I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of always wanted to do it, and then. I just applied and, you know, the rest is history. That's yeah. right. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. how does the volunteer firefighter work? Do you wear a pager? You yeah, have you, a have a little, you have a little pager on mm -hmm. all the time and um, it goes off and then you go deal with whatever fire rescue call is happening. And there must be a lot of training, ongoing there is, training. There is a lot of training. There's a lot of training up front um, and then there's ongoing training all the time because you want to be proficient. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. That's what I like most about it. You're always learning. Yeah, absolutely, and mm -hmm. then they provide it to you too. Yeah, and that's what you're doing for people here. You're exactly. Yeah, going. it's kind of a pay it forward thing. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So, how many people are usually in one class? Uh, there's six people in one class. Okay. So they're smaller groups, um, and it's five hours. It runs from eleven till four, and right now I have them set up on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, so you can pick which day works for you. I do still have spots for the Monday of the family day long weekend. Okay. If that appeals to anyone. Excellent. I had an overwhelming response, so I have to say a lot of the January dates are already sold out. Um, but don't worry, because as I said, I'm going to add more dates up until April. So. I know, you, you just started this up initially a while ago just to see if there's an interest, yeah. and now you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, I just launched it in December, and there's been a crazy... Oh, wow. I've had over 100 people uh, register. Okay, so okay. So you wouldn't know the answer to this question yet. I was oh. going to say, what do people want to continue to take classes to build up, build up, build yeah, up? Yeah, so we have... I have had... Uh, I've run a few of them now, <clears> and the women say, oh, yeah, I want to come back and do that workshop now that I you know, feel a little more confident. So... And, and we have had repeat, I've had uh, clients who have come to do the stool workshop, so the joinery one, and then when I launched this, they came back and did this one because they wanted wow. to, to learn, so yeah. Well, good for you because you actually do have a business and then you're doing this yeah. as well, too. Yeah, we're sort of expanding our business to include this because yeah. my husband and I, both of us like teaching, so. Oh, good, yeah. good, good, good. It's so fun to meet people and. It is, and yeah. you know what, when people get something in, in return, it, it's just, it's amazing. It's really you... nice to see the change. The beginning, they're very unsure, and at the end, they're just having so much fun, and then they're so proud of what they made. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. How did your business do through the pandemic? Uh, we were actually, um, we were okay. Um, luckily, because we were in, you know, construction, a lot of people were, Instead of going on their trips, they were yes. improving their homes. So luckily, we were okay. But definitely, it was you know we had to adapt to the lumber prices changing, and and even now yeah. it's it's you know there's delays in certain you know hardware orders and stuff you can't get. So right, right, you know, right, right. But we were very fortunate. So we feel we feel lucky that we were okay through that. Is it just you and your husband? Do you yeah. have staff or? Uh, sometimes we hire students in the summer. Nice. Um, I will be hiring a couple of people to help me with the courses now that we're expanding the business. Yeah. So, yeah. That, that's what I was thinking. You're probably going to get some yeah. people hooked and they're going to want to work with you yeah. with your business as well. Too, that's so. right. So, yeah. Excellent. So for more information, how do they get a hold of you about the classes or your business in itself? Yeah. So the best way would to be to go on our website, which is wildwoodperth.com. Uh, you can see a lot of our projects, uh, you know, our woodworking side of the business, but there's also the workshops. So you just click on workshops and then it shows you um, a full calendar with all the different dates and workshops and you can book and pay for it right on the website. So it's wow. all built in. It's easy. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I thank you very much for everything you do. My goodness. I, I mean, owning your business, I, 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 going back to you being a volunteer firefighter as well, too. It's, when you are a volunteer firefighter, you usually have to get the commitment of your employer to say, I may get called away. Yes. So that might be a little easier because you own it your is, own business, but you still it is have a little, responsibility. Yeah, it is a little easier, um, but it keeps me busy. I, I like being on the fire department a lot. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Amy Webster from Wildwood Design and Build from Perth. You're going to have to come back and uh, show us some more, maybe your next project or yeah. anything too. Really appreciate great. that. Great.
Thanks. Thank you. Maybe bring somebody that you're teaching with you Yeah, too. that would be fun. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. 